epilepsy warning. There's a real big epilepsy warning on the store page too, so be warned. I guess there's going to be some flashing lights to be worried about in this one. So, this has been a good year for puzzle games. Like I'm used to, I'm used to digging into my my giant backlog of things I'd want to get to eventually and stuff like that because new releases in this particular for this time slot aren't super common. But like, we had Oberdin, we had it was a Return of the Oberdin, uh, this observation, uh. Brett Rethink Evolved 3 and Baba Is You. Like, it's been like back to back new things. Oftentimes, things that are new games from developers we've covered before that were promising and all that. This one in particular is from the developer of Stories Untold, that game where you'd solve adventure games and other little puzzles and things on a computer screen where the screen only took up like a chunk of only a little chunk of your overall screen and you could see an environment outside of that screen and stuff was usually happening as you progressed and it kind of had an eerie thing to it and half the fun sometimes was, was kind of figuring out what the scenario was exactly and where it was going it was good at driving tension and all that i guess I, I i haven't verified this but i think somebody said that it's uh people that worked on alien isolation are people who are working on these games and that kind of shows <laughs> here in particular the uh the obsession with retro monitors and technology and also in this case we're back in space again it looks like so this will be neat i should double check my settings all right so how about we get started we're going in blind that is accurate yep oh why did i even check the settings if you're going to show the exact things i looked for <laughs> Analyze waveform. Voice print errors detected. What does that mean? I'm kind of curious what happens if I reject it. Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Fisher, one four zero four one two. Okay, okay, good. Come on, give me something. Sam, are 
you there. Respond. Hold R to enter respond mode. This is all very, very retro style. She's got to be very patient. Cause she has to wait for me to so slowly authenticate these things. No active objective. R is respond mode. So do we respond to... Possible match? I guess that's it, yeah. I am here. You seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? On module nine. Here we go. Mouse is moving way too fast. Let's see if I can tweak this. There we go. I can manually turn down the DPI on the on my mouse, which is helping a bit. Okay. Pressure safe, power low, pull contacts true. System link connected. Repeat last command. Let's see. Pressure is safe. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Something is vibrating. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> the controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, are you still there? I can see why there might be some issues here for people that can't deal with flashing. Um, bring her, except, okay, so we're being compromised. We're going to be the how of this game in more ways than one. Oh, jeez, I don't want to go back to that sound. She's knocked out. She's just spinning in zero grav. Well, not zero gravity, but you know what I mean. Free fall or whatever. However you describe this state. With the amount of video, video filters on the screen right now, I actually thought it was live action for a moment. Genuinely took me a moment to find 
the little hints that show you like, oh, yeah, that's a 3D model. That's not a person. We have several errors. Relocation network diagnosis. And I've already been relocated, so that could be bad. Module relocation network is not operational. Crew assist required. Wasn't I already relocated, I thought? Or is she still trying to? Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Memory core error. Oh, each one. That's a lot of degradation. Oh boy. I'm sure I didn't need those or anything. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Thank you. True to video game form, they gave the robot amnesia. <laughs> Crew tracker error. No. Ah, we can do the sensor array, but no crew identification network. Tracker power status. Hey, vitals and live parameter sensors. So we've only lost the crew identification network here. You know, the thing that is the point of the entire thing. Ha. <laughs> the location tracker component is online. Okay. Well, that's good. What else? The vital sign telemetry component is online. Oh, great. What isn't working? The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Oh, WSD. Ooh, oh, this is satisfyingly clunky. Look at all these. The combustion unit. Uh, o is controls and objectives. Run a test. Q and oh, Q and E switch camera. Zoom with mouse wheel. Not yet, apparently. Q and E don't work either yet. Possible spheres F. Disconnect with spacebar. Response mode is R. Shift is system links. Huh. I mean, I guess right now I'm just testing the camera moving. Yeah, I can find all these things that seem That's interactive. Good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Hey, that'll help me tell where the camera is. It didn't even make one of those pictures a space invader. So use your camera zoom to get closer. 
System link procedure, she said, right? There we go. System link reset. Samos procedure system link reset shows terminal input code TIC that allows a crew member to reset SAM system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a connection to all system links station wide. Only perform after a full reset. Did I just get the code for it? Seems like it. Uh, oh, I pressed for one. Good. Looks like that's working. Ah. Schematic. Nope, not now. Power caddy. ESA 11 hatch controls. Ah, e the EAS 11, there we go. What if I just jump into this laptop real quick? Whoop. Spheres, best practice. I don't think this I don't think this went very well. Yeah, we're not changing entries here. Oh, I was able to get into that. Development and control of microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operator interference. Our interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphical user interface GUI that can be located at crew member workstations and is planned a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance systems are still at the experimental stage. Oh. Hey, recovering data. This is progress, actually, then. I can't get into this one. Offline connection sphere. I am trying to find context. Oh, everything's velcroed on. Because space, they need because they don't want it's dangerous to have stuff free floating around in the, in the cabin. Yeah, you know, she said to try to get any data I can. That's probably one of those opportunities. Did I ever attach this one though? I feel like they didn't give me. There we go. Last time I looked at it, they didn't give me a prompt. There we go. All right, so she wants me to open this one. These things. Josh, if you're in EAS module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? 
Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alerts, station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. module and view its camera feeds in the EAS arm at least try it now find that fire Sam find that fire oh god all right uh I think I found the fire immediately hi fire how do you do scanning fire uh that fire bad is there like an extinguisher I can use Extractor vents. There we go. Currently unavailable. Great. Glad I did that. Uh, Republic of China. More flags. Uh, something has to be able to get rid of this problem. Opening the hatch in that direction, I think, would be bad. Oh, right. There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. Oh. I need to help her get here. Get me some hatch controls. Required schematic data not found. I don't think I can do this. All right, exit out. He's over here. Oh. track her progress and see if she, if she needs help along the way. Sam, the hatch in EAS 6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? That appears to be open. That's, that's probably not the right one, right? Come on. E A S. God, I can't read that. I think I'm just going to assume that's the one because I don't see another hatch. Oh, there's the six. Now I can read it. Come on. There we go. You're welcome. How about this? Nope. Relocate to EAS three. I'll need your help when I get there. But I want to scan the computer. Yeah. Nope. That's not happening. Food warmer. I, you can use that to cook the humans. Looks All of like which are dead. The hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Uh, let me go back in. One, two, uh, three. Where's the door? Listen, this is a slow system. Oh god, where am I? Sam, on three, open the bloody door! Oh, I'll do it myself. Uh, no, I almost got it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Sam! <coughs> Get 
the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. There we go. It is very slow. Where are the vents? There they are. That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. What the shit, Sam? <laughs> He got mad quickly. All right, let's take a look. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Is it the medical storage? Ah, that's probably it. Right? Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. That. It's like a thick grease or oil. Dark red. And there is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. Okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. One four four two four one three three two four. I think I did it right. <laughs> There we go. Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Whoa, where are we going now? Begin detachment sequencing? Ah. Uh, no. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Okay. I think I get it. You hold the direction, then click. I hope to God that anyone was in there. I hope this is done. Sam. We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think... I think we're okay. <laughs> Considering this is part one, I'm guessing that we're not entirely okay. All right, we're going to take a break here, guys. So thanks for watching, like always. See you guys next time. As not for the usual shtick, but this is only going to be in part one because I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to say this every episode, but this is on Epic Games. So if you do feel like buying this game based on what you've seen so far, uh, the link in the description is a referral code is a referral link for the Epic Game Store. Uh, you can also do a check out of Sebastian SB if you want to just support the channel with your purchase. I got this game for a whole $12, because uh, there's a significant sale happening right now. So this game's actually very cheap at the moment. So check it out if you want to. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Not otherwise.
both probably you'll probably still be watching even if you play it or some of you will I don't know, whatever outro